I think heartbreak is pretty darn close to being a universal human experience of pain. For as long as we've had language to express how we feel about someone, we've opened ourselves up to the possibility of rejection, disinterest, and ridicule. Maybe you get lucky, and someone feels strongly about you too, and for a beautiful, perfect time, you get to be in love. But for most people, even those not inclined to romantic relationships, there comes a time when you realize the person you cared for is gone, eroded by time or stress or simple, awful miscommunication, and you're left alone with a stranger who knows everything about you. You know you have to go your separate ways, but cutting that last frayed thread still hurts like hell. Broken, a tragic romance game, published by Apon Games, was written by Ben Wallace after his own difficult experience of divorce. Wallace hopes to guide players through their own ending relationship, using prompts, props, and a partner. While the game allows for shifts in tone, you can act out anything from a light-hearted rom-com to a melodramatic space opera, the end result is the same. No one gets their happy ending. Earnest without being overbearing, and simple without being flimsy, Broken is a tragic LARP that embraces the physical struggle of emotional turmoil. The most interesting aspect of Broken is the very real manner you and your partner will destroy your relationship. You start by picking characters, knowing where you'll end up, but starting at the beginning of your romance. You will then each write down five traits your character finds appealing about their counterpart, anything from their interest in obscure music to their astronomical hotness. These traits will serve as dramatic prompts, as over the course of ten scenes, your characters will become disappointed with aspects you once found so charming. Ordered from least to most significant, you'll act out moments from your relationship that served as turning points, when one of your characters realized their partner's passion or niche hobby was a double-edged sword. However, the core of each scene, and the mechanic that makes this game special, is its inclusion of props. Broken encourages players to acquire ten items to act as the anchor for a scene, both sparking ideas for the player's improvisation, as well as serving as the emotional center around which they'll slowly fall out of love. When one person has become disenchanted with a trait, and the scene comes to a close, the object will be broken, symbolizing the growing fractures between your couple. If you're really in the mood, you can also burn the trait card with a lit candle to add an extra layer to the production. Mechanically, this is a fairly simple maneuver. You get two prompts, build a scene around it, and move to the next one until you're done. But as is so often the case with games, style punches far above its weight class, and broken is nothing if not flashy. While Wallace provides an easy swap, replacing more complex objects with labeled popsicle sticks, I think the act of actually breaking shit with your hands is integral to the game. Broken deals in the emotional and dramatic, and it's hard to get more extra than shattering a wine glass or snapping a vinyl record. Wallace also adds a guide on how to safely destroy objects, so you don't end up literally pouring your heart into a performance. After nine traits have been burned, you prepare for the breakup scene, where in previous scenes players would add twists, complicating the narrative by reminding their partner of forgotten, perhaps unflattering, details. The breakup is remembered the same way by both parties. Using safety tools, patience, and the weight of the accumulated story you've built, players will act out the final moments of the relationship, and together, break the last item. One touch I really appreciate is how Wallace wants the ending scene to fade out. See, after the third scene, players are asked to take a recording device and leave a secret message for their partner, a memento of the good times, though neither character knows it in the moment. In the silence following the breakup, you'll play your messages back to each other, a bittersweet reminder of what used to be. I think this piece really adds to the tone of the game. Often I like to imagine players and GMs as directors of a film or TV show, suggesting ways a particular scene should be framed or lit. If we imagine Broken's breakup scene as the final shot of a tragic romance, playing those messages over images of packed bags and broken props is exactly how I would want that movie to end. Broken, like all narrative-heavy games, leans on its players to drive the story. While I appreciate trusting your audience, for someone like me with little experience in improv outside of GMing, I think it could use a few additional pointers and tips to move scenes along. Even something as simple as a list of suggested scenes, conflicts, or beats would really help players find scaffolding to construct the plot around. While seasoned role players will have no problem understanding what the game is asking, I expect newcomers may be a bit daunted. That said, I think the game does absolutely function the way it intends. Broken is all tone and scene setting, with a focus on the physical experience surrounding play. 
You light candles, you burn traits, and you smash objects. The game's mechanics are focused on making players feel the fragmentation of a relationship. You might write traits and create a love-struck recording, but everything else in Broken is about tearing something down, piece by piece. It says right on the tin that this is a game about fighting a losing battle, and I think it's wise to make players methodically destroy the symbols of their love, reminding them the whole way how this is supposed to end. I'm not deep enough in the LARP scene to speak authoritatively on the subject, but I do think Broken has a place there. My favorite part about role-playing games is becoming invested in stories and characters, pulling genuine emotion out of entirely fictional events. Everything about this game is geared toward the kind of people who would want something similar. In my gaming table, Broken would work best as an augment to an existing campaign, a way to get players invested in their characters right before a pivotal moment in an overarching story. But if you're someone who would find fulfillment in an intimate game about the oldest pain in the human experience, Broken is a tragic romance simulator you'll feel in your bones. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I always appreciate everybody who watches these videos, um, and if you could like and comment perhaps a game you think I should review, that would be great. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at AaronSXL, where I tweet about tabletop RPGs, health policy, and writing. Uh, if you like the work I'm doing here and you want more of it, I have two podcasts. The first is at Mortified Pod, where me and my friend Layla do critical media analysis of interesting fiction. Uh, this week we're talking about the fourth Fast and Furious movie as we slowly make our way through that franchise. Uh, my other show is at The Bible Boys, where me and my ex-evangelical friends, um, they're also siblings, uh, talk about Christian media. Uh, this week we're going to be playing through the fifth edition Adventurer's Guide to the Bible, uh, which is going to be super weird. Can't wait to have Jesus do a skill challenge, uh, but that'll be something. Uh, anyway, thanks again so much for watching. Uh, I know I've done a couple sad games in a row, so I hope this next one, which I believe is going to be Spencer Campbell's Rune, uh, will have a very different tone. Uh, anyway, see you in a few weeks. Bye.